Welcome to Distant Learning. All of your adventures start today. Hey, fifth graders. Welcome to your very first day of distant learning on Monday, April 6th. I hope you all had an amazing spring break. I know I got a lot of cleaning done and a lot of outside time with Bear. Today is our first official day of distant learning, and here are a few things that I want you to know, and I'm also going to walk you through our courses. The first is this is a new learning for all of us. This is hard. This is new information and we are just going to try to do the best we can do. Don't get frustrated with yourself if you don't get everything done. Don't get overwhelmed. Just try to do as best as you can and always, always, always either post on the updates on Schoology if you have questions or email me. Email me would work great and I can help you walk you through how to get everything done. The next thing is try your best. Um, if you can't get into something or if you're getting frustrated, then don't sweat it, okay? All we want you to know is that we want to give you a high level academic um, content and teaching so that you can continue to exceed towards your goals, but we don't want to get you frustrated. So do what you can. The next thing is Space it out. Take breaks. I'm taking a hour and a half long lunch break every day and Bear and I are going out, going for walks or getting in yoga. Take breaks. You don't have to sit down and do this all in one sitting, okay? Again, if you have questions, let us know, okay? So I'm going to walk you through what it's going to look like on a daily basis. First, I'm going to shrink myself so you can continue to see me, but you can also see my Schoology screen. All right, the first thing that you're going to see is I haven't posted an update for today because I'm actually recording this a little bit early. Um, so make sure that you are reading these questions and um, doing the polls and watching the videos. It's really important. This is where the most important information is going to be, is going to be on your update page. So as you can see on mine, I have tons and tons of people. You won't have that, but do as best as you can to check that every single day. The first thing you need to do every day is go to elementary classroom. And every day on the top page, you will see today's date. So today is Monday, April 6th. Here's our daily schedule. You need to read through this. And I will try to also add audio and video for this every day until we get comfortable. But it's where all the important information is. So when you click on this, a document will come up. Here is the activity or the class. Here's where you're going to find it. Here will be a kind of a generic thing about your assignment. And here's about how much time you should spend on each activity. Okay, if you want to do more than these times, say you can, but otherwise don't stress yourself out. Just do what it says. So the first thing you need to do is the morning message. Now you guys, this is super, 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 super important. This is where I take attendance. And attendance every day matters. And the district is tracking that and I'm tracking that and I need you to be present every day and try even if you start really early in the morning or come on later in the afternoon that's okay but attendance is important you have to have to have to post on the morning meeting question or you will not get it you will not get um, marked present for the day and I know that's a really big deal to some of you in your family so what you'll do is you will go to the discussion that is labeled morning message and then the date so today will be Monday April 6 and you will post the response and try to respond to at least two other people um, again only spend about five minutes on that what that will look like is if you go to elementary classroom again you will see the morning message and then it will say, Monday, April 6th, morning message, please post to take attendance. Ms. Gabby will upload a video and she will ask you a question. This is where you will need to post. As you noticed last time when we did some of our messages, not everybody posts. So this was an awesome video from Ms. Gabby that she did. And here are some people that have posted. Uh, Mr. Adima, Kashia, Liliana, Karina, Esso, Edison, Sharpang Shu, Armani, everybody posted and we are going to try to post back. So please keep checking that so that we can also see your post and then you can see ours. So morning message, extremely, extremely important. Okay, hopefully you got that. So just like our normal day, after a morning message, um, if you want to do some yoga, if you want to play a game, go for it. Do it. Keep it as normal as possible. The next is word work. Now I'm getting a lot of emails that your Realize word work app is not working. And um, what I've found is continue to log on like you did in the classroom. 
The other thing is go in through Clever. Clever, there is a, um, a video on how to log in. You will need your S number and your password. Go in through Clever and then it should be assigned to you. If Clever is not working and you cannot get the app to work, don't sweat it. Again, this is all about just getting your learning in, but making sure that you're not causing yourself stress. So if you can't get in, you can't get in and that's okay. If you can't get in, try the Realize app first. If you can't get in, go into Literacy. And just like you always had, go into your words their way and click on your group. So again, you're seeing my screen and I have everybody's group. So go into the blue group and then go into your sort. There also will be videos each day for you to watch about your sort. So that's where you can find your sort. It, again, try Realize first. And if that's not working, then go in and try your sort through Keynote. So after word work, um, again, for word work, it's 15 minutes a day. If you want to do more, do it. If not, just do 15 minutes. Set a timer on your app. You all know how to do that. Uh, the next is math review. Again, math review is 15 minutes. And as you can see, you're going to go into School G Mathematics like you always have. You'll go to the black folder labeled math review. So we'll go to courses, mathematics, math review, the black folder, and then you will look for the date through the week. So all of your math review for this week, the April 6th through the 10th, will be here. You will select your math review, you will download in Notability, and then you need to make sure to upload to Notability. Okay, it's really, really important that you're turning those assignments in. If you need help on how to do that, please email me. So after math review, so again, we did our morning message, must do. Your words there, must do. Math review, must do. The next thing that you can do is when you're done with math review, you can take a break or you can get right into your math lesson. So again, the math lesson is Schoology Mathematics Purple Folder. So you'll the next thing that you're going to want to do is do your math lesson. Now again, this is in the exact same spot it always has been. You'll go to Courses, go to Mathematics, you'll go to your purple math lesson folder, and then you will see Monday, April 6th, you will click on the first thing is the instruction. So a lot of videos you're going to see Mr. Larson, um, and he's going to explain all of this. Please go through all of this content, including the slides on the bottom. It's super important. This information is not for a choice. It is to help you because, again, you're learning on your own. And if you're still not getting it, ask an adult or email me and I can help you. The next thing would be to do your assignment. And sometimes there might be more than just your assignment. It might also ask you to go on to iExcel. So after mathematics, in your schedule, if you want to go back and forth, you can. If you want to take a screenshot and check off of each thing, you can. Um, this year, or this couple weeks, we're going to be doing poetry. So this is the one thing that is a little bit different. This and independent reading. So the next couple things I'm going to walk you through are specifically about literacy. So we are doing poetry. Again, it's in Schoology. Literacy, it's an orange folder, and you'll look for today's date. And then independent reading will be through ReadWorks. So I'm going to go into my literacy folder. I will find my poetry orange folder. And then again, I will go to my Monday, April 6th folder and I will read all of the instructions. A lot of this is going to be through Nearpod. So make sure you have the Nearpod app downloaded. Now, if you notice that on Monday, you're going to be doing ReadWorks, each day of the week, you will have access to either a different reading app or you can choose to read a book. It's completely up to you. But when you are done reading, and if you notice, that reading is 25 minutes. When you are done reading, You will go to the green independent reading folder, and then you're just going to tell us what you read about today. Whether it was on Monday will be ReadWorks, or if it was a reader book. So each day, 
Make sure that you are checking to see what the independent reading thing is for Friday. It is um, podcast. Mondays is ReadWorks. Um, then there's Newzilla. There's Epic. There's all sorts of things that you should be doing. The last thing you need to do is your closure. The closure is for a reflection of your learning for today. So when you go to the closure, you will go to your elementary classroom. You will go to the closure folder and you will go to today's date. Again, everything will be labeled that day. So Monday, April 6th, that's, that's how that will work. Um, be honest with yourself and answer these two questions. What is something you struggled with today with distant learning? And what is something you were successful at? Um, then when you are done, check to see any of your um, specialists. They will be posting on updates as well. And um, make sure that you get all of it done. And when you're done, you are done. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is, let's say uh, Monday or Tuesday you couldn't get on because your family had an emergency or you got in late. That's not a big deal. If you are ever missing an assignment, you can go to old Schoology work if you're missing assignments. Again, you will go into your gradebook and you will see those assignments. But if you miss a day, that is where all of the folders will get put in this old Schoology work. Again, if you have questions or anything, always go to this elementary update and ask the questions and I will answer them as well. Um, hopefully this will go well. I know this is a long video, but you guys got it. Remember to sign into Clever. The last thing I need to show you before I go off for today and get started with my distant learning day is if you ever have questions, check out this uh, check out this how to uh, folder. There are a lot, there'll be, right now there's not, there will be links on how to get things signed in. So if you can't get into Clever, if you can't get into Realize, um, if you are having trouble submitting an assignment, go to this folder and there will be videos to help you. Good luck everybody, you're going to do great.